Hello everyone! You are 교정용어 스텔라와 함께하는 이미지 영 단어 암기법으로 돌아오셨습니다. 이번 주세 가지 표현 바로 확인해 보실까요? High and dry, 배와 관련된 이미지인데요. 썰물 때 배가 무트로 나와서 밀물이 되기 전까지는 막막한 상황, 고립된 느낌일 때 high and dry라는 표현 활용해 주고 있습니다. 원어민들이 실제로 활용하는 다양한 상황 함께 확인해 보실게요. Everyone we've left feeling high and dry. Everyone we've left feeling high and dry. Everyone we've left feeling high and dry. Well, I was high and dry without a data source. Well, I was high and dry without a data source. Well, I was high and dry without a data source. But who's going to be left high and dry? But who's going to be left high and dry? But who's going to be left high and dry? Rough and ready는요. 대충 뚝딱, 투박한 듯한 느낌을 담고 있는 그런 표현입니다. 원어민들이 실제로 활용하는 다양한 상황 함께 확인하실게요. Don't be stressed, just go rough and ready. Don't be stressed, just go rough and ready. Don't be stressed, just go rough and ready. If they're a bit rough and ready and rustic looking, that's fine, isn't it? If they're a bit rough and ready and rustic looking, that's fine, isn't it? If they're a bit rough and ready and rustic looking, that's fine, isn't it? You have a rough and ready set of data that you can use to determine. You have a rough and ready set of data that you can use to determine. You have a rough and ready set of data that you can use to determine. Part and parcel 이런 이미지로 기억해 둘까요? 부분이 되기도 하면서 어떤 꾸러미가 되는 느낌? 굉장히 중요한 내용일 때, essential 할때 활용하는 표현인데요. 실제 원어민들은 어떻게 활용하는지 함께 확인해 볼까요? All of these innovations are part and parcel of the president's second pillar. All of these innovations are part and parcel of the president's second pillar. All of these innovations are part and parcel of the president's second pillar. And the internet is part and parcel of their life. And the internet is part and parcel of their life. And the internet is part and parcel of their life. Is part and parcel to being a worker among workers. Is part and parcel to being a worker among workers. Is part and parcel to being a worker among workers. 이렇게 해서 이번 주 영단어 이미지 한 개만 마무리하겠고요. 저희는 다음 주또 다른 표현으로 만나뵙겠습니다. See you next week. Bye bye.